In this video, you're going to see some fun surf fishing action during the winter time. We're going to go through the process on how to select the right weights. We're talking about the best tides for winter time fishing. Obviously, we're going to talk about the equipment that we're using. Yes, I'm getting pretty addicted. I already have two combos and I'm still relatively new to beach fishing. It's a ton of fun. The fish tastes great. And best of all, there's way more fish out there than I ever thought. It just takes a little bit of skill on finding the right spots. We're gonna cover those details in this video. Let's get started. All right, so we just started getting set up. Cat Me has a cool tip on what to do when beach fishing and make sure that you use the right size lead. So to save you a lot of time from pre-rigging everything with the wrong weight or wrong type of lead, what I do when I first get to the beach, prior to charter or even fishing on my own, I put what weight I, I hope to use, I think will work, and I'll cast it out, no bait at all, and watch it for a minute to see if it holds. If it doesn't hold, you know you have to upgrade. You can generally tell in one cast. If this starts tumbling, we know we're gonna have to start using Sputniks, but we're gonna give it a shot, see if this holds. If it holds, then we set up and get fishing. Okay, so as we uh, mentioned earlier, when we tested the current, the Pyramid 3 was not holding, made the decision to go straight to Sputniks. This is a Sputnik. This is what it should look like when you reel it in. The little blue things you see here, and they could be any color, red, green, yellow, that's a tension uh, system for you. You can bend it out to have less or tighten it up to have more. I bend these out a little bit more than normal because I want them to pop free. These pieces of wire here, they actually stick down into the sand and will hold your bait and your rig in place in seas like this. In some areas of the country, this is a requirement all the time. You can't fish without them. As far as a rig, you're always gonna see me fishing the Salty's Pompano rigs, and we're gonna get these out. We're gonna bait up with our tried and true shrimp, as always, tipped with fish gum, and we're also gonna put one out with a uh, chunk of leopard crab on it. All right, it's now time to start uh, rigging this one up. Rip the head off, peeling all the exterior out. Let's get a small chunk. Put that chunk on the hook. Finish it off with the fish gum. So this rig is just tried and true. Every time I've been with them, I've now been in three different seasons and this exact same setup has worked every single time. And best of all, it works fast as shown here. Oh, hey, we're on, we're on, we're on. All right, first fish is on. Didn't take very long. Let's see what we have. Pompano. Nice, Pompano on the board. Ha <laughs> ha. He's a All right. Butt. All right. First catch is a legal pompano. Here's the next action. We certainly got into a great feed. All right, oh, no, gee. Blue fish. Bluefish on the pompano rig. So I had a beach cam set up in hopes I could get a strike on film. And here's a perfect situation. That near rod started bending over. This is all about running the rod. It's actually a lot of fun. I'm not used to this type of fishing and ton of fun and actually pretty good exercise as well. That's a heavier fish. A solid blue fish. He ate the crab. Nice blue. Very nice for a Florida blue. They're very good on the smoker. If you bleed them, they're very good fried early. I know we'll get some comments about that, but frying them the same day, you'll actually find these on the menu up in New Jersey. All right, so we're waiting on some of these rods to go down. In the meantime, question came in from multiple members for the winter. Surf fishing, what's the best tide? What you're looking for is moving water. It doesn't necessarily have to be the rising tide like you hear me talk about in the summertime. You want moving water. If it's a falling tide, you're going to want to make sure to get your baits on the back side of the bar. The reason for that is the bait's being pulled out over the bar and the fish are waiting there to ambush it. You've got your migratory fish coming in, they're on the back side of it, your permit, your pompano, uh, your black drum are moving into the area at that time. Totally opposite on the rising tide, you're going to want to have baits on both sides of it. Shortly after that tip, I find myself running to another fishing rod. Oh yeah, whitey. Nice whitey. Thank nice. you. Yeah. Solid whitey right there. Shortly after, Captain B caught a nice whiting as well, and then another fish hit, and this one was swimming differently. And here's a cool tip that I learned from Captain B is that once the fish starts swimming parallel to the shoreline, it's typically a pompano. So he caught it. He caught it right away, thought it was a pompano. Sure enough, pompano. It sure was awesome getting onto such a fun bite. It wasn't all great though. Here is where it took a turn for the worse. This bird, this bird just crept up on a cooler and got into a bunch of sand fleas. Uh, Captain B had a bunch of sand fleas in there and that bird just took its pickings while we weren't paying attention. Not cool at all. 
So lesson learned there the hard way. Always make sure to pay attention to your baits and have it protected. The good news is that the fish were biting, so I wasn't upset very long. <laughs> little wintertime fishing treat on the beach very cool so shortly after that pompano i had to go back in but we already had plenty for dinner for both of us what a fun time and if you're interested in surf fishing just know that we're starting to accumulate all the gear that you need into our fishstrong.com website so you can get all the gear you need for surf fishing at 20% or more discount we already have multiple rods and also the reels of course plus fish gum as well as these pompano rigs that have proven to work for a variety of species. These things have been awesome. Even Captain B, who's a full-time guide, he basically uses just these. He finds it's just better value instead of tying his own rigs just to go ahead and, and just buy these pre-made. So these are on the site, fish gums on the site, and these rods and reels are as well. And again, you can get 20% off of everything. We have weights coming soon. They're not in quite yet but they'll be in very soon. Also some beach spikes as well. And if you're interested in any of that gear, I'll put a link down below. There'll be a collection page for everything we have that's beach fishing related. You can get it all there. If you're curious about rods on why, why should you invest in, a, in a, a long rod versus taking a regular rod? So if you're just getting into it, you really don't need to invest in, in the higher end gear. You can just take a normal inshore setup, a seven to seven, six foot rod, and get plenty of fish catching. Once you get a little bit more serious about it, I highly recommend getting a better setup. These full beach rods are game changers for getting the baits on the far end of the, of the sandbar. That's where a lot of the pompano are and a lot of the bigger fish. And so my, my, my results have certainly gone up once I started using the nicer setups. That being said, again, you can still catch plenty of fish with regular gear. And in case you're interested in getting a full surf rod, here's what I've found so far. I've been testing out you know, the, the lower end and the higher end. There's definitely a difference. Again, you don't have to have the high end. We, ha we have two options. We have kind of a mid-grade, which is the emblem. This is around $100. It's a 10-foot plus rod. This is the first one that I got, and it was definitely a big upgrade from just doing the, the normal inshore rod as far as just getting distance and, and just getting, getting more action. My more recent purchase was this TFO. This is a 10-foot-6 medium-heavy power surf rod. It's called the Tactical Surf, and this thing is nice. I actually had Captain B. He used it. He's never used it before, and he actually said it was it was just it handled better than some of his you know three and four hundred dollars setups. So he's going to be getting some of these. So long story short, if you're looking for a very nice setup, this TFO Tactical is very nice, and we have multiple sizes ready to rock. As far as the reel that I put it on, I just have a four thousand Daiwa BG. I put thirty pound braid on, and I kind of wish I went down to twenty pound braid. But even with this, it casts an absolute mile. It's super lightweight and it is, uh, it is just a pleasure to fish with. Again, that being said, you don't need to get the high-end gear. You can go with the lower end or you can just go with, again, your regular inshore setup. I just highly recommend giving this surf fishing a try. It is a lot of fun. And as far as getting pompano, whiting, palomita, there's just a lot of great tasting fish that are out there cruising the beaches and it's just a whole lot of fun to go out there and catch them. So thank you so much for watching. Any questions at all, leave a comment down below. And as always, if you have any ideas for other tips you'd like us to film, leave a comment down below. I'll be doing a lot more surf fishing with Captain B and I'll be happy to film some more lessons based on your feedback. So thank you once again, have a great day and we'll see you again soon.